All right, in this lesson here, what we're going to do is take a look at how we can make a slime pool. Now, very similar to what we did for creating water, but now it's going to be something that's going to hurt you a little bit, and it's going to be green, and this lesson will be quick. So let's go and get started. Okay. Again, I've still got my builder brush set to be ten t about um, 960 high for the height of these pools and the, uh, the width of the, uh, the carved out area. Let's see. Well, actually, we don't even have the visible um, fluid surface info for it yet, and I mean, that's kind of the core, getting a good slime texture and everything set up. So I'm going to use Control W to duplicate this, and may, I might go in my top view and re-enable yeah. the uh, show fluid surface info. Make it a little easier to deal with. So I, I'll just center that up on the second pool. So great, we have a copy of water, but um, at least it's the right size. The only thing we have to worry about is the actual uh, material it's using. So under display, of course, we have that one skin element that's uh, the ocean glass. If I go back to the texture browser, still under AW Global, but if I change my filter to say SL, so we're starting to type slime. Let's grab their sl uh, final slime shader. So with that selected, and again, this is another uh, shader that has a cube map. We'll say use, and just real quick to see what it's looking like, I'll activate the real-time preview. So there we've got some kind of reflecting type slime. But I mean, it'll work. It's slime as opposed to lava or water. Right. So now that we have the slime added, of course, we don't have the area as a volume yet. So let me just make sure I have that zoomed up. And um, so I've got the builder brush in place. Now, even though slime is kind of similar to water, I think I'm actually going to start off with just a plain physics volume. That way, we, if we ever wanted to change the entry sound from something other than water, we could easily do so. We won't be being overridden by the water. Right. So let me right-click and add a physics volume. Move the builder out of the way. So with that physics volume, let me zoom in a little bit so I can select it. With that selected, bring up its active properties. And under volume, let's say under physics volumes, uh, we have the B water volume. Set that to true because we want to be able to swim around the slime. We're not going to set it to kill us immediately so we have a chance to swim out. Right. Now, one new thing we need to look at is bee pain causing. Well, it's slime. It's acidic. It kind of corrodes you. So, yeah, definitely want it to cause pain. And then let's go down to damage per second. Set that to about 30. So, moderately painful, but we have a chance to escape. Finally, we want to take a look at damage type. I'm going to set that to corroded, you know, slime, acid, corrosive. But you'll notice there's tons of different damage types. Of right, you actually that. have all the different uh, damage, like weapon style damage effects, which is as cool because, I mean, you can take any volume, even one that's not a water type, and make a damage cause. You just walk into it and make your head catch on fire. Pretty much. Cool. <laughs> so if we set the damage type to corroded, so for slime, that should work. Now, it'll behave like slime, but it won't look like it. We'll walk into the, the slime and be able to see just fine. So I'm going to go to volume fog. First, yeah, we want to set, set up some distance fog. For the color, this time let's pick a nasty green. Darker, though. Definitely darker. Yeah, a little bit darker. It's going to make radioactive glowing slime, but we can make sludge instead. That'll work. <laughs> so I've got a color set, and this time I'm going to make it thicker than the water. I'm going to make it fade out by, let's try 512. And then it starts to fade out at 256. <coughs> Now here's something interesting though, we're setting all these numbers up and we see the effect in game, but what if you wanted to tweak it for a while? You set a number and you go, you have to load into game just to see it. It is possible to preview distance fog within the editor. If I move my camera so that it's inside the volume and I rebuild, it applies the, the uh, distance fog effect. Now it doesn't lose the effect when you leave the volume, it's not quite keeping up with where the camera is, but just for the time being while I'm inside this volume I could uh, start adjusting some of these, like what if I want the fog effect to start sooner? I could bring that up to 128, maybe even 64. So definitely more of an effect, and now you get real-time preview. So right. you see exactly what your fog's going to look like. I'm pretty happy with that for the time being, so I'm going to take the camera back out and rebuild to kill the fog effect off the uh, camera. So with that now, let's go ahead and jump into game and see how the slime behaves. Do do do. Good folders of video goodness. <laughs> yes, lots of them. Play. Well, looks like slime. And that kind of hurt. And we're still being hurt. Ow. It's green in here. Escape! No. Dead. Did not escape in so time. I mean, maybe if I had the surface set a little bit higher to make it easier to jump out of. Uh, got it. Yeah, <laughs> made it. Excellent. So, we have damaging corrosive slime. With ten points of health left. You about to die. Okay, cool. Well, that's pretty much going to wrap up this level. So now we're starting to look at making liquid type uh, volumes that will hurt you. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up. Thanks.